Good morning and welcome to your Daily Spark. You know, some people think that the prophets were, uh, were holding out a hope for the present, but they were saying, oh, it's going to be an easy road forward from here. But that's simply not true. If you're a Christian, you'll realize that uh, you might have the ability to face your problems, but God doesn't remove every problem and just give you plain sailing. It's a little bit like Winston Churchill, who was standing in the middle of the rubble of, of a bombed out, blitzed London. And he promised the people victory, but he promised also blood, sweat and tears for those who would follow him. And for those who follow the Lord, it's a little bit the same. <clears throat> it would be easy for God to sort of suddenly wipe out evil and everything will be sweet. But that's not what happens. He promises us blood, sweat and tears, although he promises also that we will be victorious in the end. So John was a prophet. He was calling his generation to repent and be baptized. And we can be the same in our generation, calling our people to repent and to faith in action. Uh, he, he, he knew, John knew, that he could never build the kingdom of God on earth, no matter how hard he might try. Only God can do that. But he also knew that Christ was coming and that Christ was God and is God and that Christ could come into any situation and completely transform it. So some people would say that John the Baptist's me uh, message as a prophet was miserable. Well, it actually wasn't. It was full of hope, but it was assuring people you have to do something to respond to it. John's message is a message of salvation that pointed to Jesus Christ, as should our message point to Jesus Christ. But like Winston Churchill standing in the rubble, he's not going to promise an easy way forward, but he is going to promise you victory. So as you go forth today, you might face blood, you might face sweat, you might face tears, you might face, face heartache and difficulty, but you know that in him you have the victory because the one who's in you is greater than the one who is in the world. God bless you. Go forth in triumph and victory today. And we'll catch you tomorrow on Sparks.